Hi, this video is about finding convergent and discriminant validity using SPSS. I have here with me two constructs. One, attitude towards co-workers. The second construct is environmental perception. Attitude towards co-workers is measured from item AC1 to AC4. Environmental perception is measured from item EP1 to EP4. I do here a, a factor analysis and I put in here AC1 to AC4. Same would be the case of environmental perception. In descriptives, I just want KMO. Rotation, I would like to go for an oblique rotation. I mean, sorry, a promax rotation, which is an orthogonal uh, oblique rotation. Then here, sorted by size around 0.4 scores I would like to have a component factor score coefficient matrix yes it's working yes Now if you look at it, KMO is greater than 0.87, it's a good sign, so battle veracity is significant, the commonality is greater than 0.5, two factors are got extracted, patent metric 1, that is items from AC1 to AC4 has loaded on the first component, EP1 to EP4 has loaded on the second component. There are two distinct items have loaded on the loaded on the respective cons constructs. That is, on ad attitude towards co-workers and environmental perception. I look at the component correlation between them. It's just 0 0.2 to 7. That's good. I have imported on an Excel sheet. I have your parent matrix. The average loading of attitude towards co-workers is 0 0.81 871 this is greater than 0 0.7 suggesting convergent validity of attitude towards co-workers similarly i look at the average loading of environmental perception it's 0 0.83 this is also greater than 0 0.7 suggesting convergent validity of the second construct that is envi environmental perception the variance is extracted is just a square of the loadings it's 75 percent here 69 and the various extracted between but both constructs as just addition divided by 2 is around 0.72 the correlation among them as we found from the correlation um, matrix from the factor analysis is around 0.227 the square 8.005 it comes to however here if you look at it, the variance extracted between the construct is greater than the correlation square hence discriminant validity is established this is an important criteria so discriminant and convergent validity leads to a better construct validity with this thank you